guns against me, I feel we always held dear. Trust is a terrible thing. You are betraying mine. <laughs> Tell me where the entrance is. How naive you. To have thought you sought knowledge as I did. Why seek knowledge without putting it to use? We have the chance to fashion a better world. One in which we have the freedom to shape our own destiny. And what if I choose not to be a part of your vision? That is foolish. Do you not see? We can banish ignorance. Free people from their social classes and kingdoms, from their animal emotions. Everyone will have the truth of their class. Beating me down in the dark enlightens the people of Italia. The Pythagorean unifier is in the temple. We both know it. That number is coupled to all nature, all things. It is the source. With it, we can open the minds and souls of men. We can fill them with knowledge. Stop! Ezio Auditore! You who arrested Cesare Borgia, who stopped the spread of Roman ignorance, convince our friend Leonardo to open the temple and usher in the golden age of mankind. Shall I persuade our friend by kicking him? Or would you rather I use my knife? On the contrary, there is nothing I would like more than an amiable solution. Help Leonardo see reason. With the Pythagorean Unifier, we will remake humanity together. Not under my creed. Then the revolution will begin without you. Ucciderlo! Leonardo, I must know! Eccolo! Get him! Foolish. Stay away from me, assassino! We are all the same underneath, yet these people persist in their witch hunts! You intend to bu You... an assassin? The enemy of knowledge? One must choose to search for truth. Forcing it on others accomplishes little. These lost people... Warring kingdoms... I would have ended their suffering. Que tu possa conoscere la verità nella morte. Preguiescat in pace. Vanish us back to our primitive origins! Come, let us leave this place. We cannot, Ezio. Not without reaching the final room of the temple. You are hurt. I will be fine. If that number is left intact, we risk another madman discovering it. Goodness, I sent Massimo to look for my paintings. It delayed their progress significantly. The Pythagoreans believed that the soul moved through cracks in the earth. Like a beam of light, it ignites fire which symbolizes knowledge.
You are almost there! Easy for you to say. Must continue onward. I suppose Salah is out having fun spending my ardent florins. He is safe at home. I am relieved. About the florins, of course. You do not need to lie to me. Salah fits you. I approve. I am. Um... Leonardo da Vinci at a loss for words. That is a first. some light. Do you hear that? The sound of wind. The Pythagoreans believed all the forces of nature could be whittled down to numbers. Mathematica can then act on nature, allowing man to harness nature's power. up here. One final room before we reach the center!
empire of knowledge. Correct. Harmony was achieved for the Pythagoreans when multiplicity became unity, when many thoughts combined to form one original idea. help if I fall. Yes. How enlightening. Very funny. Unity is achieved, but the door is not opening. <coughs> Leonardo, come here. Recognize these symbols? No. Wait. These are the symbols that were shown to me by the Apple of Eden. They are in the wrong order. Let me just... If I rearrange these... Done! This 
architecture. Those are not Pythagorean symbols. 43, 39, 19, N, 75, 27, 42, W. Nothing. The cult of Hermes is wrong. The number is meaningless. You are leaving? No mere number can repair the world. Come, my friend. Help me charter a ship to Navarre. I must finish with Cesare Borgia. It is not intended for us. Ezio, what are you not telling me? What else are you working on? Well, I have begun several dissection studies. Then King Louis XII seems interested in hiring me as an engineer. Oh, yes, I'm thinking of repainting the St. John lost in the Villa Fire. Salai would model for it again, of course. Then, perhaps I will study a woman with child to see how her body changes. Interesting.